Good day, friends. Florida Explorer here with y'all again today for another exciting adventure. I hope y'all are having a great day today. So today, we are just east of the Chazawiska Wildlife Management Area uh, in a park that's been set up by the county. So, let's go check it out. All right. So unfortunately, friends, I'm going to have to start this video with some not so good news. And I really don't even want to say it, but I have to because it's the right thing to do. So the last couple of days, um, I had the opportunity to uh, speak with some old timers that have lived here in the Hernando Pasco area and their whole lives grew up here and I um, was talking to him about my YouTube channel and the exploring that I've done and I mentioned Centralia and one of the old timers was all got all excited and was telling me about this time that he was out with his dad and they had come out here and, and yeah, that ain't old. so anyways uh, this this old timer's telling me that he had come out here with his dad and they had a metal detector his dad had a metal detector and I guess he was looking around and his dad called him over and said hey come here so he went over there and his dad just kept saying, look, look right there. And he kept looking and looking and finally he looked down at the ground and saw a nickel. And he picked it up and put it in his pocket. And he said that was a very, very memorable time for him. And so I asked him, I said, uh, now, you know, they say that um, Centralia is on the east, or I'm sorry, <clears throat> the, the west side of US-19. And he said, no, that's not where Centralia is. It's actually on the east side of US-19. And it kind of threw me back that he said that because there was one place, one place online where I read that. And I thought to myself, eh, you know, someone probably got mixed up or, you know, something like that. But this old timer was telling me that he was here and he experienced it. And, and I, I believe him wholeheartedly. So... It might not actually be right exactly here where I am. Um, I will tell you that when I was on the way here, I decided to drive through this new subdivision uh, that they've just recently started developing. And there's lots and lots of uh, empty lots still, obviously. Um, so I was creeping by real slow in the paintball truck looking out my window into the woods and sure as heck what am I seeing little piles of bricks the same kinds of bricks that I seen over at the sawmill site just laying in the woods out there um, I actually saw like a half metal rusted bucket that was sticking out of the ground so it's a shame that, that that, you know, was private property. Uh, and we can't go out there and check that out anymore. But, you know. I'm 
But for whatever reason, mainstream facts say that it was over there next to the sawmill. The town and everything was over there. Well, that's not the case, friends. The property <coughs> that the sawmill was on and that whole other side west of US 19 was leased and operated by the actual logging company itself. So that property was not made available to the people of Centralia to live there. I guess back then that was private property. Because that's what all these companies do, miners and loggers. They come through and they rent these areas. And they, they you know, they, they buy the rights, the mineral rights. Or, well, they're not going to buy the mineral rights, but they're going to lease that property from the owner who owns the mineral rights. I wish we could just find something. It would just give us an idea that something was here. I just have a feeling that. Ouch! Things got thorns out here, right, friends? But I've just got this feeling that. The actual town site is south of here. Because if the town site was here at this location at one point in time, this land right here wouldn't be made available to the public because it wouldn't co co you know, collate with the lie of where the actual town was. kind of history to be found from Centralia it would be from a place where the people lived yes it's historic that they had a sawmill there I understand that but people make history I'm stumbling. Not no good. Oh, you know what? I think that uh, 
this is the location of the geocache. Right in here. Let's see if it's still here. Because I remember this open area from being here last time. leaves and these are definitely crunching on some leaves right here but I don't remember I don't know I know it was here but Someone must have been here because I put the orange cone with the Providence paintball sticker on it next to it. I don't remember where it is. They might have taken it down. It was only just a really small capsule with a log for you to sign. be back in a familiar area. Providence Paintball! See more open areas like this. This makes me think that things were used to be here. You know, I'm not saying that there's never, you know, like an opening in the woods, but, uh-oh, uh-oh, did I just see what I think I did? Oh, friends, yes, we did, yeah, yes, you're right, friends, we found thorns. Oh, boy, that, that just stabbed me right into my knee, oh, oh, man. Him is not quite ready yet. Dog on it. Well, that means we're gonna have to find one that he is. Because now I want one. There's some more plants. Oh, there's one. Yeah, buddy. Mm hmm. But now you also know what these mean, right, friends? That means watch out for bears because bears love these things too. I'm just not quite as big as a bear, you know. Now we're heading back um, west now.
stuff like this i mean you just you know the way i look at this is okay these pine trees the pine trees good lordy mercy can't even talk these pine trees are relatively new so let's see how many businesses could you put here one two three four five six seven eight you know i mean hey man you got the hotel you got the bar you got the general store you got the barber shop you got the sheriff's department i mean you know so when i come out here i try and see all these things friends you have to kind of impose these things into the area to see if you think that they might fit sometimes they do sometimes they don't i'll tell you another thing too friends is ever since i've started doing these videos and and exploring and doing all this research on history of here every single time I ride by some woods I can't help but thinking man what's in there or if I see a gate somewhere to some woods man I wonder what's back in there you know it just always piques my interest now hoping to at least find a little something here but I honestly at the same time just didn't expect to stay right in the middle because you know that snakes obviously like to lay out in the sun but a snake's not gonna lay out in the middle of the open trail because of birds which are predators to them so they'll stay more off to the sides or like if you have some like the trail where it goes into a set of more wooded areas they'll sit along the edge <clears throat> for that little bit of extra cover or protection looks like we're coming up on another forest road here friends maybe maybe not not really sure we're kind of heading southwest now and this does look like this is one of the forest roads trail and I'm pretty sure that uh, you can ride horses out here oh yep horses ain't nothing wrong with some horses Maybe I don't find any bricks out here or remains of buildings, but what God put here is just fine. That's, that's fine number one right there, friends. Oh yeah, that's old. So, what do you think was right here? So this is a forest road right here that's going in and out. So, uh, I would say, I don't know. Schoolhouse? 
fire station? Well, praise Jesus that we found something out here so far, friends. I'm glad that we were able to make that discovery. closer to 19 and then we'll start heading back south again providence paintball It's just that you can tell these are these are relatively new growth and I shouldn't say new like you know super young but compared to all the other trees out here these ain't nothing so it's places like this where I suspect that dwellings would have been Fiberglass. I would say that that was probably fiberglass from, uh, from the siding of a house or something maybe at one point in time. But to the date, as far as saying that that's old, I'm not sure. It's interesting though, to find stuff like that in an area like this, because of the opening, which, you know, puts me on that thought of, okay, what was here? And you know, what I've been finding a lot out here is there's, there's these little hills. There's one over there, there's a couple over there. Now, if I'm correct, right there at the end of the grass right there is another uh, forest road that continues, I guess that would be uh, northwest, and then runs parallel to 19. And while we're walking around and doing some more exploring, friends, I want to invite anybody and everybody that would ever like to come out and go exploring with us. If you're just an explorer like me, or if you're another explorer and you've got a YouTube channel and you want to link up and do something together, hey, let's do it. <clears throat> well, so we found a couple of relics. I found a blackberry. So we're all happy. Starting to head back southeast towards the main gate. <laughs> it looks like little corns. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't don't hate friends, don't hate. You gotta have a good time sometimes, right? So we're going to make it back over here to this forest road. Let's 
go ahead and take a look over here at this cleared out spot right here from what looks to be probably like it was a homestead at one point. I mean, come on friends, this spot right here, this is the perfect area, just enough for a small little yard and a nice little house or a little bungalow. <clears throat> because, you know, they didn't have, they didn't need a big garage or anything like that because, hey, come on man, this was the days of the stagecoach and the train. The automobile wasn't here yet. Okay, right here, friends. Praise Jesus. Now, this is just plain and simple proof. Right here. Oh, man. Come on, have dates. No dates. Praise Jesus. Look at that, friends. See? I'm telling you, you learn what to look for once you've been doing this for a while. But that's concrete. Concrete just doesn't wind up out in the middle of, wood, of the woods accidentally. So I will officially say that this spot right here was where the town of Centralia was. And I don't have any doubt in my mind. Oh, oh, look at that, friends. Oh, look at that, friends. Okay. Praise Jesus. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at that. That's awesome. You could look at this. You could man, just me just touching this. I can tell this is old. Wow. I think I think as far as artifacts that I could, you know, pick up, I think that's the biggest one I found so far that's still been intact. Praise Jesus. Well, friends, we're definitely on the right track here. So, when is it? 20 after. We've still got ample time for sunlight. So I think what we're gonna need to do is, I'm gonna go back over there and go in that way uh, to find some more artifacts. Praise Jesus. Well, I'm really glad that I decided to try to come out here tonight, friends before the uh, sun went back around to the other side of the earth. So yeah, right here, homestead. Fact. Let's, uh, let's keep pushing back in here. We're gonna start, we're gonna go back east again. See that note in there, friends? And I'm looking at it. 
And I'm trying to get it to come out of here. Because I don't want to break this. Okay, let's see. Alright. Now we'll just kind of... Okay, we popped it out of place. Alright. There it is. Let's see what it says. says anything. I don't know if it did. It's they either wrote really small or that's just like it was already on the paper. That's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think it was probably just the label. Punks. Oh, you know, I thought that we might have found a note in a bottle, friends. You never know. Oh! It was that wishful thinking again, right? Well, so maybe we didn't see that bottle before. Let's just press back a little bit further and then check out some more homestead sites. Go this way here. Yeah, with that, uh, whatever that was, sawhorse stand or something like that, the concrete on the ground, you couldn't, you could not convince me otherwise that this is not the town of Centralia. Well, I do believe that that was a rabbit. It looked like a rabbit. into danger, so we're going to go where he went. Ken is not home. Okay, let's see here. like another homestead site right here, friends. Spot for another tour. I think that, oh yeah, we're right next to that, um, to that forest road right there. 
the whole thing is is I really unless I'm on the way in somewhere or on the way out of somewhere I really don't want to use the trails because the good stuff's never on the trails It's either thorns or spiders, right, friends? Okay, here you go. I mean, you can look at the poles over here on the fence. Those are definitely smaller. So I would go to say that that was probably an original. Maybe, maybe. But I don't really want to walk down this forest road right here, friends. I, I don't want to do that. Because um, that's no fun. <clears throat> so we're going to go back this way some more. Dead gummit. Oh, you zenima. You zenima. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Right. Did we look at this over here, friends? I don't think that we did. So. Let's go have a see. While I try to get this bug off my eyeball. Ugh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We've been this way. Okay. Sometimes you got to remind me, friends. One thing I would like to do is I would like to take the time now to go ahead and invite everybody to like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out. Woo! so that you don't miss out <clears throat> on awesome explorations of abandoned places, historical places, and whatever else we find, right? Okay, so I'm not walking through those, but I don't want to go back on that road, so we're just going to double back some more. Sorry about that, friends. But you never know what we'll find. That's the whole thing. That's why I stay excited about this kind of stuff. You know what, man? Let's see this way. Because... This looks like this could have been an original road. Just from the way it sits. that site right there. Bumble buzzers. Oh. Wow. 
you okay? You, you bumble buzzers, get out of here, man. Golly. I just don't know about that. Now, you know, a, a beaver or an otter? Maybe. But, I don't know, that's kind of odd. But, I would go to bet that these are uh, homestead sites. Not because of this stuff that's here, but just because of the way it's cleared out. Providence Paintball! <laughs> Providence Paintball! Too small though. To... All right, friends. Well, I think that I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and probably hop back on that forest road. Probably get up on out of here. Alrighty, friends, this has been another great adventure with the Florida Explorer. I hope that you guys all enjoyed the video today. Have a blessed day.